When I came across this photograph, I was intrigued. Then when I noticed it again on Netflix, I pressed play. I avoided all other reviews because they tell you so much it's not worth watching a film after reading. So be reassured you can listen and watch this spoiler free review and still experience the film as the director intended. I had a flash memory of the fantastic original film Cloverfield during the early part of this ride. Very calm start to this film and I was impressed to see that this film isn't in a hurry. It's going to take its time and if you are impatient then go and watch some of that fast food horror you're more comfortable with. This film experience is very low on actual music when it comes to building up the tension and its use of no intimidating or growling noises is absolute genius. This film is not what I expected it to be and that's very rare these days. A horror film that's intriguing, dares to be different and has emotional depth is something to celebrate. There's just a couple of moments where this film slightly misfires. If the director had some gun training, they would understand the shocking effect to the eardrums if a shotgun goes off inches from your head. My other observation is near the beginning of this film. When something frightening suddenly happens to a man, and I would have wanted this main character to react vocally in some way, not an over-the-top scream, but definitely something that will make me feel he's really surprised. When I see a horror story idea or theme that's been so overused, it's lazy creativity, and I'll stop watching, or sometimes I can't be bothered to even start watching. A good example of lazy creativity is The Walking Dead. Once upon a time it was crack cocaine must watch TV, but now its original magic has been squeezed tightly away. But with The Night Eats the World, a dull seen it all before idea has been re-energised and so well thought out that what's been produced here is something very special. They've put their own spin on something boring and it's worked a treat. A treat, that's what I thought after this experience ended. I had just been given a rare horror treat to watch work that will stay with me for a long time afterwards in many ways. Those many ways I won't share because you'll find yourself thinking about stuff afterwards and this is important. To watch a horror film that bleeds into your real life thoughts is incredibly human and uplifting. There's creative ideas in this work that are a joy to witness and very sad emotionally. There's times where rare kindness, thoughtfulness is displayed which encourages tears to flow. This film is no way horror perfection because it lacks the disturbing ingredient. However, this film is horror special. It's beautifully filmed and shows what can be created with a small cast in one location. The Night Eats the World is a slow burn, so don't watch it if you're tired because this work deserves your time and concentration. You don't want to miss this one. Check out my other YouTube channel, Horror Stories from the Clown.